Hey, what's up, YouTube? Reef Spy here. I was going to do a quick video tonight. I was mixing up some salt water uh, for water change I plan on doing this weekend. And one thing dawned on me is that I have never actually tested the salt mix uh, other than the temperature and the salinity after I you know, mix up a fresh batch. So I figured, you know, why not uh, take the time and just see you know, what the levels are that are going into my aquarium and you know, just as a point of reference to know, you know what's going in versus you know, where it stands at after you know, weeks of growth. So. I've got 26 gallons mixing in here and it's been going overnight, so about 24 hours. So as you can see, the temperature is around 76.3 degrees. Um, I have some new DI resin filters and everything, so the water coming in is at zero TDS, which is good. I've been using Instant Ocean Reef Crystals uh, pretty much since I started, and it's been doing fine for me. I've tried Red Sea on occasion, but for the price and the amount of salt that I go through, um, I've gone back to the Reef Crystals, and it works fine for me. So I just wanted to check you know, what the levels are uh, going into the tank when I mix up a fresh batch. And, you know, they got the marketing stuff on the front of the package here. Uh, so the one thing uh, to notice, it says that it is nitrate and phosphate free. So I took my API test kit, tested it, and for sure, yes, it was zero nitrates and zero phosphates, which would be to be expected. So on the back, you know, they give your mixing instructions and everything. And they also have this nice chart here, uh, which tells you what the calcium and magnesium levels will mix at, at different salinities. So I mix my salt at 1.026 specific gravity, and uh, the temperature at the time of testing was 76.3 degrees Fahrenheit, which is close enough to the 77 degrees that they have on the chart there. So it tells me my calcium should be at 455 parts per million, and magnesium at 1345 parts per million. So I went ahead and tested it with my Salford test kits. And sure enough, calcium I got at 460 and magnesium 1350. So they said 455 on calcium. I got 460, which is right there. Magnesium 1345, I tested at 1350. So everything's good. Uh, the one item that they don't list on the box is alkalinity. And I had no idea what that would have been going in. So I went ahead and tested that as well. And to my surprise, it was at 10.9, which is way higher than I would have thought. Uh, my tank generally was in the 7 to 8 range, and that's with dosing and with my corals just, you know, sucking up all of that alkalinity. So uh, it was surprising to me to see the 10.9 tested on a fresh batch, which means I am probably <laughs> using up more alkalinity than I'm putting in uh, since it had been dropping. And... At last test, it was very low. I think at the, oh, I was only down to 6.7, and I could tell my uh, SPS were starting to suffer. So that was just after a few weeks of not doing the water changes because my nitrates and phosphates were low. I figured I was good and I was dosing, but I think with the new lights that I added, it sparked an increase of growth, and it started using up more calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity, and I hadn't adjusted or tested my parameters in a while and everything had dropped so I need to make some adjustments but just for your reference if you use a different type of salt or if you do use reef crystals and you're not sure um, you know if the numbers on the box can be believed uh, as far as my testing shows yes they can if you mix everything up according to directions uh, you should get the numbers pretty close to what they um, if not exactly what they advertise on the box so hope you found this helpful um, and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. And you know, consider subscribing if you liked the video and want to see more like this one. Thanks for watching.